Hello, welcome back to a, yet another episode of TOGCAST. Now, we are uh, speaking to all members of our community. We're speaking to Stuart, we're speaking to, spoken to Hayden, the owner, spoken to Owen, who's the driver coach. Uh, and today, I have the pleasure of speaking to Ryan, who is uh, one of the drivers and one of the community members um, that we have. So, uh, without further ado, uh, hello Ryan, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good, thank you very much. Um, so we obviously have standard questions that we ask um, to kind of get to know um, everybody. So would you mind saying uh, what your name is, please? Uh, my name is Ryan Yoda. Excellent. And how old are you, Ryan? I am 16 years old. Oh, my goodness. Another youngster. Oh, I feel so old. Um, what? Uh, where do you come from? Um, I am in uh, the US, the United States, and I'm in Salisbury, Pennsylvania. All right, okay. Wow, quite a, quite a distance away. How do you find um, racing when there's such a difference in time zones? Uh, how do I find it? Yeah. Like, um, it's not too hard. I mean, it's... Once you understand it, it's pretty easy to adapt to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, are you still at school, or have you you left school? Uh, yeah, I'm in. I'm still in school. You're still in school. Have you got any yeah. as aspirations as to what you'd like to do when you leave school? Any particular jobs? Um, right now I want to be a car mechanic for like high end cars. Um. Maybe even be like a mechanic for a race team, nice. something like that. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good thing to aim for. Um, do you have any hobbies or interests that um, out with some racing? Oh, um, let's see. Well, uh, I like to uh, play like other video games. Um, Mm -hmm. I like to ride my uh, mini bike. All right. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. And I like to play uh, soccer stuff like that. Oh, excellent! That's good. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. What other kind of games do you like to play? <clears throat> Online. Well, I like to play um, like F one twenty two sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. I race in a little. Oh. Uh, NASCAR Heat 5. Oh, excellent. Um, you might want to listen to one of our pod, our podcasts, keep calling it podcast, um, very soon. You might find it quite interesting in relation to the NASCAR games. Um, I won't say much more than that at the moment. Um, no, that's pretty good. How do you find iRacing in comparison to ACC? Well, it's definitely different because, like, the graphics I'm used to, like, on ACC. Yeah. And then you go to iRace, and then it's. I don't want to say they're not as good, mm -hmm. but to me, they're almost not as clear. Yeah, no, so absolutely. Do you find. Definitely. On you go. Definitely different. Yeah. Do you find car handling is a lot different? Yeah, to me, it is, yeah. Mm hmm. Um, well, that's good. That's good that you've got other interests like that. How long have you been doing sim racing for? Mm, about a year and a half to two years. All right. Okay. Excellent. Um, have you got any anybody that ex inspired you to get into sim racing, or was it um, was it something to do with motor racing or something that got you into it? Well, my uh, I have two friends that are brothers that they race, and their names are Kyle and Colby Wagsdale. They um, are pr uh, pros, and they well pros in the leagues, and they mm -hmm. uh, started it. And I've watched them, and that inspired me to wanna get into it because yeah. it looked like a lot of fun. Oh, absolutely excellent! You're probably able to get some tips from them as well for uh, if you get stuck on a track or or you're looking to improve in some way. Yeah, they helped me a little bit, yep. Yeah, excellent. What equipment do you use um, when you are sim racing? 
I use a Thrustmaster T150 wheel, um, and I have Logitech G29 pedals with true brake, um, and they're mounted onto a metal frame. Mm -hmm. And I have a TV Excellent. hooked up. Uh huh. How do you find I had um, Logitech G29 pedals and I used a true brake? How do you find um, the true brake in comparison to not using the true brake? Um, it's definitely like different because like for in the if you, if you don't have it, the brake just I guess like not as realistic mm -hmm. stuff, and it's just so much better. Yeah, with the true brake. Absolutely, and it's harder. To it's harder to press, but it's mm -hmm. better in the long run. Yeah, it definitely gives you a better feel like what a car brake does in comparison because otherwise the spring isn't very um, tight, so it's very easy just to, to go flat onto the brakes, but you don't get any resistance really. So um, it is a good mod. I'm glad that there, there there's things out there for the, the kind of more budget end. Um, of things, is there any equipment you're you would love to have or you're looking to buy in the future? Well, uh, probably like a better wheel, you know, like a more one that's a little bit better. I'm not sure what that is yet, but some a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely, and it is. It just takes time to upgrade each thing. It's uh, unfortunately, unless you've got lots of money, it's not something you can just buy loads no. of stuff. Um, for no, absolutely. Um, have you got a favorite car in ACC that you like to drive? Yeah, it's um, I love the uh, McLaren 720s GT3 Evo, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, that is that's that's my car of choice as well. I have to say, it's um, it's a really good car to drive. Um, is that um, is that what you use to race with then the McLaren? Yeah, for the past couple of races that I was in, I used that. Like, I've dabbled back and forth, but that's the one I've decided I wanted to use. Yeah, and that's good that you've decided one that you're going to kind of stick with because it's it's easier to learn one car and then use that on all the different tracks. Yeah. What <clears throat> Talking about tracks, what's your favourite track uh, in ACC? Uh, I love Donington Park. Oh. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's that like not, it's not very big, but it's fast and it's it's fun. It is, and that last chicane. I mean, oh my goodness! Like, if you get that right, it's there's no better feeling. But um, if you get it all wrong, you end up off the track um, for yeah. that. So, would you say um, that's probably the track you've driven most in? Then is Donington. Yeah, it's I've been in that a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, excellent. That's a really good track. Um, how long roughly have you been with the Toga um, Discord community? Uh, since May fifteen of this year. Oh, right. Okay. Um, how did you find them? Uh, my friends and I also saw some races on SimGrid that I've mm -hmm. wanted to be in. And are you enjoying your time in Toga? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a good community. Mm -hmm. The kind people, it's... Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Are you signed up to any championships at the moment that you're racing in? Uh, not at the moment. I'm looking right now. I'm dabbling in what I want to do right now. Mm -hmm. And do you know that Season 6 of Rookies is open for sign-ups at the moment? I did not. I'll look into it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm only saying that because I've signed up for it as well. But um, yeah, the rookie season six is going to be the last rookie race of 2023. Um, there's going to be five races altogether. The last track will be decided uh, decided by a vote. So um, it's looking pretty good. But yeah, absolutely. Go and check it out and uh, see uh, if it uh, appeals to you. <clears throat> yep, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, is there? Are you racing in any other kind of leagues or anything at the moment? Yeah, I'm also in uh, light speed racing. Right. Okay. 
and I've I'm in tra the track uh, trackalicious league right now. I might have done like a few races with them, but a lot with uh, light speed racing. Right. Okay. Um, that's good. It's good that because obviously. Um, some leagues only race on certain days, so it means you can jump back and forward and have more more races. Yep. Do you find you get a lot of time to practice, or is it just every now and again that you get a lot of chance? Well, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's like I try now and then, but I try a lot. It definitely can be hard to get some practice in, but other than that, mm -hmm. whenever I can. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's great, and I'm assuming that um, you're going to be in some racing for a very long time then. Yeah, I hope so. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Right, Ryan, thank you so much for uh, coming on the podcast. I really appreciate it, and um, I'll hopefully see you on track very soon. Yep, thanks for having me. Oh, no problem at all. Take care. Yep, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So there we go, Ryan, who is a young young guy in America who is in the Toga community and um, is looking to get himself into some championships. Really looking forward to seeing him on track, especially in the McLaren. If you have enjoyed this podcast, if you're listening on YouTube, please make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And you can also become a member for 2 99 That is British pounds. I don't know. You'd need to convert that to your own currency. Um, if you're listening on Spotify, thank you very much. Please make sure you're following us so that you get notified every time there's a new podcast. And speaking of that, every Monday at 5 p.m. British summertime, a new episode is released. So I'm really looking forward to that. Until then, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.